with us uh, to assist with this presentation is uh, someone else I grew up listening to in Detroit, and that's the great Martha Reed, who is a member of the Detroit City Council. And so all of us who are devoted disciples of him and appreciate the great contribution he's made are going to stand with him as he receives an award from Congressman John Conyers Jr. on behalf of the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Mr. Conyers. Brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the 24th annual session of uh, the jazz event at the Congressional Black Caucus. Let's give all the people and yourselves a great round of applause. Good evening. It's so sure good to be here. I'm happy to have uh, Martha Reeves, the councilman from the city, councilwoman from the city of Detroit, to assist me with this presentation. And uh, we and, and we are happy to present Ed Love, who is the jazz impresario of the United States. He, he broadcasts from 9 a.m. to midnight on WDET in Detroit. It goes across the country, and he plays the baddest jazz anywhere in the country, the new ones and the old ones. Let's welcome Ed Love. I put in the congressional record uh, Monday, September 15th, the House of Representatives honoring the accomplishments of Ed Love. Madam Speaker, that's Nancy Pelosi, I rise today to make, to make express my gratitude for my fellow jazz enthusiast and Detroiter, Ed Love. For more than 24 years, he's delighted listeners with Destination Jazz, the Ed Love program on weekdays uh, from 7 p.m. to midnight, WDET. Ed's passion for jazz and radio extends all the way back to his youth in Kansas, when he was an avid listener of, to his mother's records and hosts like Dick Martin of WWL in New Orleans. And after finishing broadcasting school, Ed worked for the Armed Forces Radio in a number of states and in the Philippines as well. And then he started uh, working through in various stations throughout Detroit. It goes on and on like members of Congress always do when they're on the House floor. But it's all in praise all in praise of this great lover of jazz that has taught and, and kept happy all of us who love this great music that comes out of the African-American experience and is now internationally celebrated around the world, reinterpreted and still going strong. Ed, in, on behalf of the Congressional Black Caucus, uh, I am so proud to present to you this award for 2008 at this wonderful event. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand and uh, greet Ed Love as we present him with this award. Martha, Mrs. Martha Love, his wife is living. been married a long time, so don't ask me how many years. Mrs. Martha Love, would you please come forward and accept this with your husband. Thank you very much.
word that I was getting is a war about three weeks ago, and they told me that what he just read would be re read into the congressional record, which is here. And I have been watching C-SPAN, all three channels. <laughs> I have been watching, believe it or not, as you know, I watch from nine until mid midnight, every night. And so it gives me a lot of time in the day to watch C-SPAN to see and hear this red. And I, I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it. So I thought, I'd better go down there to Washington, D.C. and see what's happening <laughs> with, the, with this young man here. You know, <laughs> I would see it never, this is better than C-SPAN. I heard him read it all. That was great. Thank you, thank you. Come, come. You know, I may slip and call him John. I may slip and call him John, but uh, I got the respect for him. Congressman, our congressman from Detroit. Congressman Connie, who was a jazz fanatic, I'll tell you that. So uh, thank you, thank you very much. And maybe one night or one day or one year, I will come to work for you here in Washington, D.C. Right. <laughs> thank you. And I feel uh, about 14 years ago, I uh, came down with a, a, a stroke, and it weakened me on the left side. And the first award I got after that, I got it with uh, Eddie Harris, who is now deceased, and, I, and, I, and things fell and broke because I couldn't hold it. So uh, I asked my wife to, uh, if I just, if she just feels like I might not be able to hold it, I always ask her to come up. And I always feel that my wife, being part of me, is half of the award is always hers. Martha Love, ladies and gentlemen, Martha Love. Okay, uh, I can go on. Oh, you guys ready? I can go on and on. You know, that's what DJs do, they talk. <laughs> and I'm more than a DJ because I do other things. But uh, I'm a broadcaster and I talk, and I talk, and I talk. I about that her talking, you know? <laughs> She told her daughter today, yeah, he has to stop talking. He has to stop. She said, even in his sleep. Thank you so much, so. And I'll tell you what, and I'm not saying this, but I've just seen a little bit of this town. I love it already. I do love Washington, D.C. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Martha Reeves from Motown. And congratulations to the wonderful Ed Lund. Uh, although it hasn't been said, the Funk Brothers were all jazz musicians. And a lot of our songs uh, were based on uh, jazz moves and, and, and our lyrics, the lyrics are based around the wonderful bass lines of, of uh, James Jameson and Benny Benjamin on drums and Robert White on guitar and Earl Van Dyke on keyboards. But uh, Teddy Harris was our jazz hero. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, our wonderful Ed Love for the music he played and the music that he made famous, composed by Maurice King, uh, Teddy Harris, and the wonderful Thomas Beans Bowles, who's now all in heaven. So we thank you, uh, wonderful Mr. Ed Bell, and uh, continued success. And we love your voice, so you could talk all night for me. Thank you, uh, Congressman John Conyers, who keeps jazz alive in the city of Detroit. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Thank you all very much. Great to see everybody out of here. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for us to continue the musical portion of our program? Okay, then we will. Next up, we have the Wallace Roney Quintet. Now, there are some Special things that are going to happen as part of this next presentation because we have featured with Wallace, Brother Anton, we also have Kush Abaday, we have Hassan Carter, and we have Nasser Abaday. So a lot's going to go on over the next few minutes. So sit back, enjoy the ride, and witness the Nasser Abaday. No? Wallace Roney Quintet. <laughs> 